regardless of whether they're partying or whether they were studying and minding their own business in a corner. You probably have to touch up a little bit after them, right? I don't agree that that was quite normal wear and tear. When I live in, a par in an apartment, I don't leave my place in that kind of condition. I don't live like that. Okay, and that's absolutely your choice. But yes. some smudges on the walls are something that you might expect when you rent a unit to two people that maybe aren't as fastidious as you. There. I didn't expect to find so many stains all over the apartment. Did you give permission to hang curtains? Yes. Okay. So a lot of what we saw, the nails and stuff, were the, were the curtain nails left. Yes. Right? Okay. That's it. I'm good. The parties are excused while we deliberate in this matter. Thank you. I, I, think, I think there are a number of issues that this case has raised. The first is we know that California law is, is rather strict. Tenants are entitled to notice of damages within 21 days. Now, we've just had an opportunity to view the defendant's evidence with respect to that Exhibit D, which is titled Security Deposit Invoice, which is dated March 14th, which is within the 21 days. And it would seem to me that that invoice would be substantial compliance with the requirement that the plaintiff be alerted to what the uh, defendant was alleging and withholding. So that brings us to the more tricky issue about the damages. What is fair and reasonable? Uh, what is simply normal wear and tear? The videos look like a very clean, beautiful place that no one had lived in. It was brand new. I think we all were unaware that we had transitioned <laughs> yeah. into the move out. Yes. yes. But I don't know how far from perfect it, it was to warrant keeping how much? 80% yeah. of, of the security deposit? Close to $4,000. Close to $4,000. That's an awful lot of damage that I did not see. Now, she painted the entire place, charged over $500 for that. Right, and minimal holes in walls are exactly the type of thing that California law says are normal wear and tear. I think, as Rachel said, her roommate wasn't as neat as she was because some of the photographs of the shower and... and it's just and, dirty. And it's dirty. Were, were very dirty. Clean, so right. I would say she asked for more than ordinary amount of uh, cleaning costs, but I would think she would be warranted under those circumstances. Well, she that. says here she was charged $580 for cleaning fee and deep cleaning of floors. Right. Fine. I, I think that's fine. Right. I agree with you both, I think, on the cleaning. I think that the plaintiff's need for more itemization essentially comes down to her need for proof that any of right. these damages actually occurred. Right. I don't think this was really an issue about itemizing. Mm -hmm. I think it was an issue of what is the extensive fire damage? Because none of us can see right. it. Yeah. So the only thing that I have a question about is that front entry door. Because those glass panels did look like they had damage on them that they can't did. be repaired. They did. It wasn't just simply dirt. Correct. Repair. How much was it to repair that? How much was and it? And it looks like a single charge for $650 to replace the front entry door. And are you guys talking about this door here? Yeah. The dots? That's yeah. not dirt? That's not dirt? I would give her the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. I would. I would okay. not give her the benefit of the doubt for that damage on the floor. Because, no. Because, again, a little bit of extra damage no. on tiles is wear and tear. No. But she wanted that entire place ziplocked. She she does right. not need to rent this place out. So what do, what do we so, got now? We've yeah. got uh, I'll give her 650, the door. 650 for the door. The, door. the 580 and for cleaning. 580, 580 for the, the cleaning. cleaning. And then I would deny the rest of the withholding. So I would return that money to the plaintiff. She was seeking to recover 3755 Deducting 1230, which leaves us with 2525. 2525. Yeah. And then I think that this defendant. I didn't see maybe, bad faith. No, doesn't have no. best practices, but doesn't not, have best practices. not bad faith. I agree. Okay, we have a verdict.